What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new activator action. Now, if you recall, two days ago I made a video about virtual home that allows you to place your finger over the touch ID sensor and it acts as if though you're pressing down the home button. Well, now you can do the exact same thing with activator. So if we swipe over here and open up activator and tap on anywhere, here is a new section right here for fingerprint sensor and this is going to be for a single press. So if we tap on that, we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to set this to the home button. Now this is probably or definitely the only thing that you're going to want to set this to and I'll show you why in here in just a second. But now you can see if I place my finger over the touch ID sensor, it's going to close out of that application because it's acting as if though I'm pressing the home button. Now you can see right there I can actually open up the app switcher as well just by double tapping and it does take a little bit of practice to get the timing just right but once you get it down it's actually pretty simple. So now if we go back into the uh, activator here let's turn that off and let's actually turn on an action. So let's do let's just do compose a tweet. So now that we have it set to compose a tweet it's actually pretty difficult to push down the home button. So you can see if I press down Oh, it actually worked that time but let's see let's open up uh, let's open up another app and you can see that it's actually composing a tweet and then closing out of the tweet and basically what's happening is it's sensing that I'm pressing my or putting my finger over the touch ID sensor and by the time it actually presses the home button down then it closes out of that composed tweet so it's actually really annoying and I highly recommend no one to set up a gesture for this. What you can do is actually press the home button down really quick. So if I do that, then it's going to act as if though I'm pressing the home button. But otherwise, I mean, this can be extremely annoying. If you have this set up to an action, you can see that every time you press the home button, if you're not actually pressing it down as fast as you can, then it's going to compose that tweet or do whatever action you have it set to. And it's not going to press the home button down. But if you have an iPhone 5S, I highly recommend you checking this out. It's actually pretty cool, and it works pretty well. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.